welcome back to International Beauty. I'm Allison, and today's video is going to be a review for you guys. As you can tell by this week's topic, it's reviews. So I'm going to be reviewing the Jergens Natural Glow 3 Days to Glow Moisturizer for you guys. Um, if you don't know, if you're not familiar with Jergens Natural Glow, it's a self-tanning product, which means um, instead of going to a tanning salon or anything like that or laying outside, you can um, get tanner with this lotion. So um, I'll tell you the pros and cons about this, what my ideas are, what my thoughts are about this, and if you're interested in that, keep on watching. Okay, so let's start off with the packaging. The packaging is okay. It tells you up in the corner, it says great, um, great color without odor, which if you, if you used to use Jergens Natural Glow about a couple years back, maybe through two to three years ago, um, it had a bad, bad odor to it. A lot of self tanners do have an odor, but at the same time, a lot of them are trying to switch off of the tanning, the self tanning smell. They're trying to get to, um, better smelling and better scents. So um, it says three days to glow moisturizer which means you're going to see the results in three days. Actually you'll see the results overnight. You'll be a little bit tanner. Within the three days you'll be the darkest color. So also um, it's, it tells you you see the colors fast and it's I got fair to medium. And it's also four fluid ounces which sucks is because this is runs about maybe like nine, ten, eleven bucks so for this little thing when you can get the bigger size for the gradual tan and it kind of sucks because it's still the same price and that one you're getting a lot more product and this one you're only getting four fluid ounces and it's still the same price. So that's kind of a downfall about it. On the back it says day one, day two, day three on here. Um, it tells you what you you should look like after a day and up to day three. So you need to make sure you exfoliate and shave beforehand. And um, after that, then you are going to let your body kind of dry and everything like that. And then probably a half hour after your shower, you want to apply this. Apply it, go to bed, and it doesn't rub off my sheets, and it's also not sticky. It dries pretty fast, so that is a plus. Um, I do apply this. I don't apply this three days in a row. I usually do. I apply it the night, and at night and then the next day after school or after I'm done running around or in the morning I'll rinse it off and then that night I'll skip it then the next night I'll apply it and so I go maybe instead of three days I expand it to maybe five or six days depending on um, if I really do need to get tan then I'll do three days right in a row but um, I don't want it to look too fake so um, this does smell pretty good it does have a nice scent to it. It's also a white lotion. So if you can, if you ever use self tanners, the ones that are brown or have an actual color to it, those are the ones that have the color guard on it. This does not have a color guard. So that which, what that means is when you apply this to your skin, you're not going to be able to tell where you already applied it to. So that's kind of a downfall to it because you don't know whether you just applied it there or you rubbed it in all enough and stuff like that. Um, this does go on evenly, and um, you have to put lotion on your elbows and your knees before you apply this, just to those areas because um, those are usually a little bit drier. So you don't want to put the self tan the self tanner on, and it'll really cling to the dry patches and make it look weird. Let me think. I do like this a lot. I always go back to it. Like I said, it's ten bucks, which is a lot cheaper than Saint Tropez, which is I think like forty bucks. But um. Um, there's a lot of good drugstore self tanners. If you want to hear my thoughts more about self tanners, I'll link my video down below on my channel that I did, I think, in April, so a few months back, and I did a review on this and a couple other ones. So if you're interested in that, go ahead and look in the description box down below, and there will be a link for you there. And hopefully you guys enjoyed this video. I know it was short, but short and simple and straight to the point. But um, hopefully you guys enjoyed this, and I'll see you guys next Saturday with another video. See ya!